हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एसिड फास्ट स्टेन और जील नेल्सन मेथड ये बहुत हैव द सेम एक्चुअली द जील नेल्सन इज द स्टैंडर्ड वर्जन ऑफ द एसिड फास्ट स्टेन बिकॉज़ द जील नेल्सन द साइंटिस्ट व्हिच इज मॉडिफाई द स्टेनिंग मेथड ऑफ द एसिड फास्ट सो नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द सेम थिंग लाइक द ग्राम नेगेटिव फैक्टर आई मीन द ग्राम स्टेनिंग फर्स्ट वी टेक द स्मेयर दैट इज द स्लाइस एंड वी पुट द स्पूटम फॉर एग्जांपल if the any patient to suspect that the patient has tuberculosis so so we uh, we take the sputum from the patient and the sputum put in the slide after the same thing the heat fixation we add the carbon fux carbon fuxin actually carbon fuxin is the red color red color is look like the red color and the red color uh, whenever we apply the carbon fuxin on the slide after approximately 5 to 10 minute we uh, we put a, this uh, molecule on the slide and we we should wait 5 to 10 minute after the 5 to 10 minute again will heat heat fixation heat fix the same approximately 5 minute after the 5 minute after the 5 to 10 minute red color uh, carbon fuxin then will heat 5 minute then will add sulfuric acid after this all process will add sulfuric acid or also we can add uh, instead of the sulfuric acid that is the hcl so we can add hcl approximately 3 ml and even can we add alcohol 90% of uh, methanol or ethyl alcohol so this through uh, this two molecule can be added but the sulfuric acid is the most widely used 20% sulfuric acid for the mtb for the mycobacterium tuberculosis sorry mbt mbt and 5% for the mycobacterium leprae mycobacterium leprae for the identification why because as we know that the in a gram staining method the bacteria is the the bacteria don't have uh, much lipid so uh, uh, we can say lip, lipid bilayer because the gram positive bacteria are just peptidoglycan so they don't have uh, any lipid molecule in a gram negative bacteria have lipid molecule but not as compared to the uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis because the for example this is the mycobacterium tuberculosis and the surrounding this area that is a waxy with uh, waxy layer because the very very uh, thick lipid bilayer made by the very thick uh, lipid bilayer so this all green area this all green area is the waxy lipid molecule and the carbon fuxin is left to bind the lipid lipid molecule so this carbon fuxin will very tightly bind to the lipid uh, molecule that's why the the this mycobacteria will look like the red color because this carbon fuxin is already red color and this left to bind the lipid lipid layer that is which made by the bacteria i mean the uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis so this will very tightly bond and accumulates accumulate in the bacteria and the bacteria become uh, red color it's colorized by the red so by look, looking like the red color after that after the sulfuric acid add the sulfuric acid because why sulfuric acid add 20% in the mycobacterium tuberculosis and the 5% in the mycobacterium leprae because the mycobacterium tuberculosis is the uh, the layer of the lipid is very high concentration is a very high as compare in uh, mycobacterium leprae mycobacterium leprae is the obviously it has also lipid bilayer but not like the um, uh, tuberculosis it's very few uh, not significant after that sulfuric acid then again will wash after the wash will add methylene blue or crystal violet or gentian violet this through out of one add the methylene blue and then we'll see in the microscope so the background area is the blue means this background area because we take the sputum so sputum it can be a uh, pus cell or maybe epithelial cell so this blue is the maybe pus cell or actually that we take from the patient sputum and maybe epithelial cell so this all background is the look like the blue 
and the red one that is the mycobacterium species why red color as i said that the, this is the love to bind the waxy lipid lipid layer then so carbon focusing will accumulate and try to very tightly fix on that surrounding area that's why this bacteria is the looking like the red and why we we add sulfuric acid and methyl group because the background area will be the different color so in the microscope will not confuse the background area and the bacteria that's why for the background color uh, for the background color we need to add some other color that color is the methylene blue that's why this color uh, background color will appear and then by the microscope we can very easy to identify that the red color is the mycobacterium and the background color is the blue and what did the sulfuric i mean the sulfuric acid sulfuric acid that is the s2so4 actually this sulfuric acid will wash the background red color because the carbofocsin will obviously red in the bacteria but as well as also it red in the background this background slide so sulfuric acid will not uh, wash out the bacteria just it will wash out the background red color and then again will put the methylene blue so methylene blue will not do anything with the uh, bacteria mycobacterium to uh, mycobacteria just it will uh, appear the color in the background of the slide so that's why we can very easy to identify that this patient has tuberculosis i mean mycobacterium species or not or if there is there so which type so mycobacterium tuberculosis or mycobacterium leprae usually these two are the uh, very popular and some other also for those uh, identification the same thing also will do and i mean will do if you will increase the sulfuric acid concentration so maybe even the mycobacterium also can be was uh, was away with the background red color that's why this concentration have to uh, very very carefully on, on the time whenever we will i mean culture the tuberculosis or diagnosis the tuberculosis so this all information about the staining method as i discussed in a Uh, previous video that is the gram staining in this video we we'll discuss about the uh, acid fast stain so this this two stain is now it is very popular and very important to know uh, in the microbiology so hope you will uh, like uh, this staining method so thank you so much till then take care